on YouTube, this is Shirley426, and today we have a Premium Bandai Kid review. This is the Premium Bandai Master Grade, or MG Gym Dominant, Philip Hughes Custom Version, or Philip Hughes Version, depending on how you like to say it. Now, uh, this kit has arrived, I believe, uh, about a few days ago. Technically yesterday, or on Friday, I keep forgetting about that thing, but still... And I was very happy that I've actually pre-ordered this because recent uh, about not too long ago I did also pre-order and build and review the original Jim Dominance, which is which was also a premium Bandai kit. But this Master Gate was amazing. It was fun to build, and being a gym type mobile suit, it was all I needed. And this one was no exception. So I would like to mention right off the bat, this review will be a simple review, meaning that I won't be going over articulation because. Pretty much the, the base kit is exactly the same as the previous Gym Dominant, so the articulation is the same, but I will go over the arm area because with the extra stuff on the backpack, uh, the articulation does is getting hindered a bit, but I want to tell you that it's not too bad as well. Alright, so let's get on to the review. So being a premium Bandai kit um, and having a lot of stuff to show, I will be going on my review on, with like a, like a figure style. Okay, so let's talk about components. This thing has a lot of components, and I'm pretty sure this video it might be long because of me explaining all those leftover parts. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the Gym Dominance Philip Hughes custom version. And I would like to mention, the Gym Dominance itself was it is technically recently, so I believe this is more of a recent mobile suit, but was recently shown or revealed in a manga, the Blue Disney manga, but not the original, but there was a, re a renewal version. Just like how there's the 0083 and then there's a 0083 Rebellion, it's something like that as far as I can tell. So this is a, a renewal version. So basically this gym is supposed to be like a data collecting type um, gym. While it is much superior than a typical gym, and uh, it has a lot of components from the Gym Sniper 2 or Gym Sniper Custom, the, Gundam full, the full armor Gundam, the, the green one. Uh, so this thing was not mass produced. There's only there were only a few uh, developed. So this one was mainly purpose to get gather data for developing other mobile suits. Okay, so let's go with components. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the Jim Dominance Philip Hughes custom compared to the original version. This is more of a black and white instead of being a blue and white. Uh, so, and obviously you get the the double barrel double barrel beam cannon or beam rifle. That's on the on the arm, which you can connect in two ways, and then on the backpack we have these two gigantic Gatling guns, which is the way how it it's being used might not be what you think it is. And then other than that, we have the beam sabers, one on the side, the left side. There is actually a beam saber handle on the side, and then if you look at the arm, we have these parts, uh, which are called the box beam sabers, which you can actually attach a beam saber effect part on. And then let's talk about components. So first of all, what you're supposed to get, number one, is a water slide. Yes, most master, premium Bandai uh, Master Grades do come with water slides. Uh, once again, I'm not a big fan of these or don't really care for these, so... Oh well. And once again, because of how the way you're supposed to connect the double, be the double barrel beam rifle or cannon, you have to take this part off, which is kind of sad, but oh well, I can work with that. And then we obviously get some hand parts. So currently I'm using the trigger finger hand for the right hand, which you can see is right, was right over here. We have a left one. We get fist, open hand, left and right. We have hands for the beam saber. Don't worry, I'll show you guys a demonstration on my later poses. Uh, these parts, these four parts are leftover parts. You don't actually use them. Okay. And then typically we get two beam saber effect parts. My end came a little bit bent, but oh well, I'll have to work with that. And it's not like I have... And it's not like I only have these, I have a buttload of these at this point. And here are some leftover parts I, that I cut off. So number one, this is supposed to be the original uh, backpack piece, but because of those extra stuff, this was replaced. Uh, we get another beam saber uh, hilt, because they repeat, basically. And then we get these parts. Now because of the color separation, or uh, the colors, we get some extra pieces, or basically double of the same pieces but in different colors so we get a white version that's supposed to go on the shoulders and I believe these are also present in the Gym Sniper 2 uh, kit. Uh, I forgot if it was also uh, included in the Gym gym Command but I keep forgetting about that but still here we have a knee part uh, which I, I, I cut off 
And then here we have the cockpit section, which I cut off as well. And then this part, I am not sure what part it is. And then here we have a side piece. Now, the reason why we have a single side piece cut off is that uh, on the Jim Dobbins, obviously, if you look at the left side, there is a beam saver holster. And for to that for that to connect, there's actually, on this one, there's actually like a hole there that can connect the piece. So that's that for the ones I cut. And other than the one you're supposed to get are these two stands for the... Uh, for the turrets or slash gatling guns yes so those those folded up legs don't actually open up what which i'm actually a little bit too a little bit more happy about that because i'm pretty sure in the long run long run if these were actually like moving mechanical ones we would have very floppy legs that's i'm pretty sure that's how it works so i'm actually glad that they do it of course this might be a, a down point to some of you guys but oh well that's what we get Okay, so I have a whole box ton of leftover pieces, so let's go over them one by one. So I'm going to back up a bit because it's going to take a lot of space. So first of all, this one. You can see that we barely use any parts of these. I forgot which part we even use on this one. So apparently this one is, I think it's from the Gym Sniper Custom, I believe. Oh yeah, Gym Sniper Custom because we have the white visor for the Gym Sniper Custom. We have the legs, we have the, the side skirt, the faceplate, uh, the knee parts. These round parts, yeah, full all over leftover pieces. Uh, this one is basically a repeat but in different color. So we have the box beam saver parts and then we have the leg thrusters in white. So once again, repeat. Uh, here we have the A plate. I think we, we used a good amount of here, but once again, not every single. So I believe this is originally for the Gym Sniper 2. Uh, here we have the front skirt armor. Here we have like the head, ar head piece in yellow, vents, all sorts of stuff going on here. So yeah. So I, I did mention this on my Gym Dominance review video that because this Master Grade is really a mixture when it comes to pieces it's really a mixture of the great Master Grade Gym type kits so like the Gym, I'm not sure if the Gym 2.0 is included but considering all the base like the inner frames were that had some parts of the Gym 2.0 that should be included the Gym Sniper 2, the Gym Sniper Custom, the Gym Command so we have a lot of gym, mixture of Gym parts in here so here we have this one is supposed to be for the Gym Sniper 2, I believe, uh, according to the plate. So we have some inner frames for, for the body, cockpit, front skirt, a body, so and an extra trigger finger, which I believe this was more specifically meant for the, the, the sniper rifle. And here we have another one for, I believe this one's the Gym Sniper Custom. Here we have the shoulder armor, uh, inner, inner frame, we have the head, front skirt, the waist section, the leg armor, the front fl uh, face. All, all sorts of pieces all right and then here we have some more stuff this is the eye plate saying this is the 2.0 I'm gonna say this must be the the master grade gym 2.0 I believe uh, so we have mostly the leftover parts are the inner parts of the shield so this this one unlike the previous gym dominance this one does not come with a shield so yeah uh, here we have another one for the gym 2.0 I believe uh, we have the waist section yeah, more waist section. A, I believe this one's more of an action-based connector, and yeah. Okay, so there's, as you can see here from the box, there's a lot. So we, here we have another repeat of the white piece, the box beam saber, the, the leg thrusters, and let's see what we have here is a B2, I believe. So the B2, this one I believe is meant for the gym dominance, I believe, um, because. Uh, I could be wrong, or this is the, either the Gym Dominance or the Gym Custom. I, I'm not really sure myself, but basically we use white parts of this. Of course, we had to use a single black piece on here, which is why we have a lot of leftover pieces. And then here we have the D2, uh, which this one is actually from the Gym Sniper 2. We have the beam savers, we have the size, uh, leg, size, armor, yeah. Okay, so here we have another B2, once again, repeat, so nothing too special. Here we have a D2, once again, another repeat, so nothing too special going on. So if you do want to change the color scheme of this into like a more of a black instead of the white, I guess you can do that. Uh, here we have a E1. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, we have an E1. This one is for the Gym Sniper 2. We have the knee armor, the thruster armor, uh, this arm, this piece, which I can't remember what it is. And I believe this is a more of a cockpit section thing. And then we have the neck armor piece. Uh, we're almost there. 
Yeah, with these kind of type of premium Bandai kits, they always give a lot of leftover pieces. So we have another E2, which is basically a repeat of the knee armor and such, so nothing too special. Uh, here we have an A2, which is a black version of the knee armor that I believe is used on this kit, which I forgot to cut off. Uh, here we have a B armor, which is, I believe, for the Gym Sniper 2. We have the neck, the upper neck section, and then we have the body, the cockpit section, nothing too special. And here we have another C plate with a white armor, because I believe this is a Gym Sniper 2 front skirt. Uh, can't remember what that is. And this one, I believe, is the waist section. So, yeah. And finally, we have this red piece, red plate, which is actually meant for the Gym Dominance, as far as I can tell. Uh, here... But the cannons are supposed to be, or beam rifles are supposed to be gray. So, yeah, I believe these are mostly meant for the cockpit section because there was a red piece. And on the crotch section, there was another red piece, which is why we get this. But if you want to, I don't know, add some red to your kit, be my guest. And that was pretty much it for all the leftover pieces. Now, it took a long time, but now let's get into the review. Alright, so I'm going to get off the stand and talk about changes. So obviously, as I mentioned, this is from the new Blue Destiny manga, and there is technically this variant I was not expecting. I haven't watched the manga yet because there is no Korean version yet, and I cannot get the Japanese version in Korea for some reason. So I'm still waiting for a, either English or an official uh, Korean translation so I can read them. Uh, so obviously, let's talk about changes. So the, the base kit or build is exactly the same. There is no change in the build as far as I can tell. The only difference is the color swap. So, yeah, and I absolutely love, love this Master Ray kit, and I'm really hoping, according to the wiki, there is a w underwater equipment, aquatic equipment version of the Gym Dominance in the blue version, so I really hope they also go for that. So, if you look at the back, now we can see some changes. Obviously, we have extra stuff on the backpack for, obviously, the Gatling guns and the holster for the Gatling guns, which is actually connected in the middle of the backpack. So if you look at the backpack, there's supposed to be a connector you're supposed to see here, but it's currently covered up by the holster. This one actually has a different connector in the inside, so which is why we don't see anything. And on the back skirt, because of those stuff, the bazooka holder has been uh, has been taken out. Of course, I don't think the the gym dominance did come with a bazooka, as, as far as I can remember. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the comparison. Now let's talk on the shoulder articulation. I would like to talk about the shoulder articulation. So, number one, because all this stuff going on here, the way how the holsters are connected. So, I'm going to take out a, a Gatling gun for now. So, the way how this works is that this thing can actually open, close and open like this. And then it can actually lock into place with those extra teeth and pegs going on here. And what, while you can, well, technically you can just now pull it, pull it up. What the manual tells you to do is to basically move this section to the back a little bit so you can pull it out without you know colliding with anything come on there we go and then you can close it up and yeah if you want to reposition that you can do that yourself so basically without the gatling gun this is how it works so basically at the back of the shoulder this thing exists this is coming out from the backpack so because of this when you're trying to rotate the shoulder armor it, this thing can actually collide with here which is kind of bad, but if you're close, if you're careful enough, you can move the shoulder a little bit more to the front, and then work your way around by rotating the arm. So that's how you're supposed to work with this one. Uh, so if you are kind of curious with the full articulation regarding the gym dominance, you can always check my review for the or for the previous gym dominance review. I'll leave a link on the description below. So that's the only tricky part about that section. Okay, so now let's talk about the Gatling gun. So since I did take one out, let's see how this works. So I can't say there's an articulation on this, but there is. This is basically the folded up version. So if you want to do it to be opened up or be look like it's actually being activated, you can move it like this, and there we go. And while doing this, this reveals like an ammo belt or something like that to reveal. So And then this section is the legs where it's, it's supposed to stand. So this one is just a single piece or technically two pieces slapped together. Um... You take this part out and you get one of those stands and then all you need to do is just reconnect the piece that you just taken off from. And there you go. Of course, this thing does not rotate on its own, so yeah. So I think they did a pretty good job on the design of the Gatling gun, but I don't think they didn't pay too much attention to the movement of the Gatling gun itself because I think that would increase the price. And if you're curious, yes, you can actually rotate 
uh, the Galinga. Of course, uh, I might need to actually sand in some pieces in there because it's only rotating in one direction for me. So yeah. So if you're one of those techie guys that can motorize everything, this might be a good challenge for you guys. All right, so we've seen the basic stuff. Uh, so I'll be right back with the first set of poses slash equipment. Okay, here we have the first set of poses. So as far as I know, or I can understand by looking at these Gatling guns, is that they are supposed to be either automated or remote control within the cockpit wirelessly. I'm not sure how the wireless technology is advanced in the Universal Century at this point, but still, uh, it's either one of those two that so so he would run around and then drop these Gatling guns on the ground, which would I would assume you know firmly connect to the ground and start firing at an enemy, while the Jim Dominus can move around and you know add extra firepower. So uh, one thing I would like to mention regarding the promo pictures was that this thing could do some sort of kneeling pose with this. Problem is I tried doing that. Probably, but the front skirt armor does not move much, and in that thing that was moving up more than 90 degrees up up front, and I have no idea how that's done. So yeah, unless I've done something wrong with my kit, I wish I could do that. But still, that's one missing aspect. So yeah, and one thing I should mention, um, compared to the original one, this thing is can be feeling a little bit back heavy because of those extra stuff going on here, or it could be just the feet structure. Is that? Every time I try to do a certain pose, it's always that wobbly feeling onto that thing. And regarding the turrets, is that uh, this back, these two legs are the same, and then the third one is actually a different design. So these are supposed to be ones that has to go to the back. But even though if you wanted to have it in front, it's not, it's impossible because the way how the pegs work is that it's in a specific shape. So you can only spit, plug it in a specific way at the same time. And always keep in mind that once you're going to display this, always have them opened up to show reveal the belt. And this will actually, this thing is actually a separate piece, so I think this would also give some opportunity for those who love to color these kind of stuff of weapons. Or modify it to make it hold it, but yeah, that's up to you. But this, the way how this is work, it's supposed to be working is that it's supposed to be firing on its own, not to be held, and there is no handle to hold it onto the mobile suit. I'd like to mention that. Alright, so we're done with the first setup poses let's go with some other stuff in regarding the beam rifle as well so I'll be right back okay uh, let's talk about the double barrel, double barrel beam rifle or beam cannon now this pose might be a more of a reference to the final shot but not on this version but when the previous version of the Jim Dominance one of the promo pictures or poses on promo pictures was one of these kind of a this kind of a pose I can't remember the exact pose but it was something like this I think it was mostly to show like the articulation regarding the shoulders. Uh, but either way, uh, I would like to talk about how the connection can be changed. So it's not too much of a big difference or nothing too special. But currently now, I don't have the handle on the on the cannon now. What happened to my camera? Actually, there we go. So you can see there's no handle, and then you can have it with the handle or without the handle. The way how this works is that if you take the cannon out. Even though without the handle, uh, it has a firm connection because because this this pig is actually meant for the cannon or the box beam saber, and you connect it here. So even so, you already have a firm connection that connects to the arm, and then these holes are meant for the shield if you want to connect them. So yeah, that's nothing too special. And if you want to actually use this, you have to. Use, there's actually a small hole there for a trigger finger, which I am very glad that it exists, and then you attach it to the hand first and then there's a sliding gimmick here right over here so which you would assuming that you have it already on the hand you would connect it here and there you go whoops yeah so I don't so the connection the sliding connection itself is not too strong but still it gives extra support or technically you're supposed to f f yeah slide it in a little bit more I think I didn't slide it enough so yeah this is how it works all right so yeah if you if you're having trouble with actually holding the handle you can just always pl plug the cannon in and you're always good to go alright so now we're done with the cannons now let's talk about the beam saber so I'll be right back alright so here we have the last set of equipment slash pose so currently I'm using the do double beam saber but one on the box beam saber and the other one with the beam saber hilt that was on the side so currently I even have the Gatling guns back stored in the backpack to just show you guys basically even though the it does hinder the articulation only a little only a little bit so 
if you know your way around, you can still work out pretty well. So here, least so for so for to do this, I took out the beam, the double be barrel beam cannon, and replaced it with the box beam saber. The way how it works is that you just connect it to the basically inside there. Unlike I believe it was the gym sniper custom, which uh, you were supposed to put some sort of beam saber hilt inside here. That's not the case for this one. You just have a square uh, thing, and then you have a round hole there. So you just, you, all you need to do is just plug it in, and there you, you're good to go. Uh, regarding the other uh, beam saber hilt, um, for this hand, this is one of those hands that where you have to swap out the fingers. Uh, it does hold it, but not too firmly for some reason. So it's kind of sliding. It kind of just slides out on its own. So. Yeah, and mine's a little bit bent at this point. And as I should mention regarding the head, uh, being more the head is more being based on the Gym Sniper 2, uh, which is which means you have a nice visor to cover up the the actual visor. And this time there's no stickers involved, just pure cl uh, green clear plastic. And just be careful with the antenna because I think the antenna is like the most fragile part of this kit. I think. And that's pretty much it for the review. So definitely, definitely one of the best gyms out there, or Master Grade gyms, or the cool-looking gyms out there. Uh, there are also a lot of other Master Grade gyms that are very top-notch quality to try out. So if you haven't tried those out, you can try those as well. But if you're also interested in this, this is definitely a buy. Of course, if you don't really care for the Gatling guns, you can always search for the previous Gym Dominance, which is basically the more basic version of it. But anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the Premium Bandai Exclusive or P Bandai Exclusive Master Grade Gym Dominance Philip Hughes Custom Version. And if you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews of, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time!